ni huo wokovu ndani yako. But people are not seeing that salvation in you. Haujapokea injili. Then you are not to see that. Watu wanapaa waone ule wokovu ndani yako. People have to see that salvation in you. Ili wakuje kwa Yesu. Then they have to bring them to Jesus. Kama wanamuke kwa Samaria. Like the Samaritan. Lakini wengi wetu but many of us ni kuongea tu. Just speak. Tunaenda tengwe. We are going to heaven. Tunaenda tengwe. We are going to heaven. Lakini matunda ya mbinguni hayako ndani yetu. But even the fruit of heaven it is not in us. Wakati Mungu anataka tufanye hivi na hivi hatuko tayari. When God wants us to do this and this we are not ready. Bwana siku sasa. Hata kuna watu hapa wenyewe Mungu amewarekebisha wamekataa. Even some of us here that God has tried to tell us to amend our ways we have refused. Baka hata Mungu amewatumia wengine. Even I have sent us. Wao watu waende waeleze. Because even to come and tell us. Eh hata hawa watu wamekuja bado wamekuwa na hicho ngumu. But when they come we are just having in ourselves. Sasa mimi nitawaambia hivi. So is adding us. Mimi kama Jesus. Him like Jesus. Kama utaamua kutenda dhambi. If you have decided to sin. Endelea kabisa keep on doing it. Kama unaona kukunywa pombe, if you see drinking, ni mzuri. Na inakupatia faida. And it gives you benefits. Wacha wacha kuenda kwa babu utafuta na maduka. Stop going to the clubs. Fikiria zaidi vile utakuwa na buruwa risi yako. That's thing in this way that you you have to open your breweries. Ndio maana utakuwa unakunywa tu pale. You just drinking in there anyhow. Itakuwa ni mzuri. It be good. Bwana sifa sana. Yes. Kama utakuwa ni msichana ama kijana if you be a young man or a woman wewe kazi yako tu unataka kufia ka you just feel you have to do it na hautaki upate watoto hautaki gharama za watoto then you don't want to to get kids wewe kazi yako tu ni kuuma na kuacha you just being misused as you move on hautaki gharama zozote you don't want to be responsible waje kutakuwa wachana kutafuta msiana miwili vitatu Stop looking for floor three. Enda mahali ambapo wasana wanajiuzanga street. If you can visit Koinange street. Ah, anza kuchambua mmoja mpaka umalize wengine wote ambao watakuwa pale. You have to take one one and then you finish all of them. Nataka nikuone katika kitabu cha 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 Guinness book. And then you you be recorded in Guinness book. Ja kwamba kuna kuna vijana mmoja that there is a young man ambaye amemaliza mahaba wote Nairobi. And then he has finished every woman in Nairobi. Itakuwa ni mzuri. It be good. Bwana siku sana. Ukiamua kutenda dhambi tenda zaidi. Ukiamua kuachana naye wachana. Ah If you decide to sin, do sin more. If you decide to stop, stop immediately. Na maliza katika nyimbo zilizokuwa zinaimba na watoto. And they are we finishing songs. Watu wale walikuwa wamefurahi. Those kids were happy. Tunajaza kwamba zetu na furaha na amani na vitu vingine. That they are feeling their cup with the peace, love, the kindness. Watu walikuwa wamefurahi sana. Wapendwa hii kazi ya injili unaposikia na kuiamini. When you hear the gospel and you believe in it. Umesikia akisema? Wakati alikunya ile uji kidogo. Aliona kweli hivi bila aliyomwambia injili ni mzuri aliona ni mzuri mbele ya injili. Would despite whatever she may have heard that it's okay. Alafu injili haina qualification. And this gospel doesn't have any qualification. At lazima ukuwe na masomo. That you have to be a learner. Na ukuwe na pesa. You have to have money. Injili ni rahisi tu. The gospel is simple. Wewe kuamini habari za Yesu na kuzitenda. You have to believe and do it. Na Yesu mwenyewe akufariji. And the God himself comfort you. Na atakulipa zaidi. And he's going to pay you. Na wanaona bila watoto walikuwa wamefurahi. And so the kids were happy. Na mapasa kama mimi tuko mahali tumekwambia atusonge tuko tu pale tuko tumekauka. And the pastor like you have just stuck somewhere and are not moving. Ni kusema ninaendaka Uganda nikikubiri. I'm going Uganda to preach. Mimi nimekubiri kwa masoko bwana. Yeah, I'm preaching in markets. Bwana mimi nakubiri injili mwachana mimi. I'm preaching the gospel to me alone. Lakini zizongi. I'm not moving. Lakini watoto wanasonga. But the kids are moving. Wale ambao wamenyenyekea wanasonga mbele. So they are ready to humble. Unajua eh na Marise nikisema hivi. As he finish say this. Eh Mungu aliambia Ezekiel. God told Ezekiel. Ukiona mtenda dhambi anatenda dhambi. If you see a sinner doing Muambia wache kutenda dambi Na wakimuacha akienzea kutenda kiyo dambi Makosa ya huyu mutu nitaweka juyari The mistake this person has done it to be upon your head. Na akasema tena. And then he said. Na ukiona mtu alikuwa mzuri. And you see if a good person. Kama huyu ndio ugeto William. If they are brother here. Alikuwa na ubiri njili. He was a good preacher. Na amewache njili amejitoa kwa kasi. And he has refused to preach. Amejitoa kwa kasi. He is now more ranger team to job. Unamtafuta? Unamwambia ndugu yangu William. And you tell my brother William. Hii kujitoa kwa kasi wajana na itaisha hapa jinya juu. The way you are moving for and the sacrificing more for the job it will just come one day and end. 
Wewe rudi katika mahali penye Mungu alikupatia kazi yako ya kuhubiri njia. Come to the calling that God gave you. William akisikia. Bas atakuwa amefoa. Na William akikataa. And he refuses. Hiyo damu yake itakuwa juu. That blood will be upon his head. Kwa sababu alizikia? Because he had it. Na akaambiwa na akaamini. And he was being told and he believed. Muda anaweza kuwa ni mzuri. Mungu anaambia Ezekiel. Yale mazuri aliyoyatenda yote sitayakumbuka hata moja. Those good things he used to do God will never remember even one of them. Oja hizikia watu wanasema bwana mimi nilikuanga kuhubiri bwana muacha na mimi. Have you never heard that people say that I was a preacher you will have to leave me alone. Bwana tulikuanga na kanisa bwana acha na sisi we bwana. We had a church you cannot tell us anything. Hizi ni miota za This is just you, you are trying to pretend but sometimes they say it is like the fire of peppers. You just burn and then finish. Ni wanakuambia tu ni kwa muda tu narudi tu. It's just for a short time you come back. Lakini wewe sima. But you stand firm. Ukiona mtenda danga na tunda dambi muendeze. If you see a sinner just tell him ukiona mtenda haki anatenda dhambi akuwe pastor bishop umueleze if you see those ones even they are pastors you just tell them wewe nao ukitaka kama neno and wash your hands kama vile dada yetu ametueleza leo if like our sister have told us na hata wale dada mwingine pia ametueleza so mimi naweza kusimamia pale as i stop there na ujumbe ya ule and the other message tutarudi kuiangalia we are going to see it baada ya kujiongeza uzito fulani kwa kwa mwili wetu after some break bwana sasa Amen. Eh tutarudi tukiwa tuangalie ujumbe. Yeah, Sitaki nifunge pale nisema ati Jesus ndio pastor mmepeka yake. Sasa nataka nipeane nafasi kwa mtu yoyote. Kulingana na ile ujumbe ambayo Obadiah ameteoleza. Na vile tumeifafanua. Kama hapo na kitu ya kutoa atoe. If you have something to remove Remove it. Na kama kuna kitu ya kuongeza, if you have to add, aongeza. You add it. Alafu tutaenda katika break. Then we go for break. Bwana sasa. Mm-hmm. Inamaanisha kwamba kuna mtu nitapenda e, tusimame tutakaposimama tutasimama na zaka zetu kwa mfuko bila Mungu atakuongoza atuja atupee watu majarity alafu tutapata wimbo ya kumsifu Mungu kutoka kwa waimbaji wimbo wa mbili alafu zaka zetu tutawekelea hapa